With over 1 million MX-5s roaming this planet, it's hard to deny the popularity of Mazda's Roadster. Now in its fourth generation, the ND continues to evolve the platform and bring it into the 21st century. You've probably seen a million glowing reviews about this car, but not this one. Behind me is Goodwin Racing's most popular project car, their 2017 Mazda MX-5 RF. That's a mouthful. What does RF stand for? Retractable Fastback, and it's got a pretty cool party trick. This car is actually Brian Goodwin's wife's daily driver. The director for this project, take an already amazing car, modify it, all while making it better and not ruining the fun on the road day to day. Now, modern sports cars provide a challenge for both the enthusiast and the professional shop modifying cars. These days, there's so much R&D time put into these platforms, more often than not, after you've added those shiny aftermarket parts, you've made them worse. For Goodwin Racing, they're no stranger to modifying these roadsters and they've been in the business since the 90s. They know a thing or two about how to make these roadsters turn better, stop faster, and give them a little bit more go. This car, while it's a daily driver, has a pretty extensive list of modifications, and if your significant other lets you do that, you should put a ring on it. Let's dive into this car and see what's done to it. Powering this car is an Edelbrock supercharger attached to the 2.0-liter Skyactiv engine. This Edelbrock supercharger provides seamless power on the road, and it never leaves you wanting for more. This car makes 12 PSI of boost, and that brings the horsepower up to about 200 at the wheels. That's plenty to move this 2,300-pound car, and in the real world, you really don't need any more. To keep up with all the extra horsepower, Goodwin Racing has equipped this car with 17x8 9 for 9 Racing 60 Wells wrapped in 235-4017 Toyo R1R tires. These tires give you more grip than you'd ever need on a public road. Additionally, there's a Willwood Big Brake Kit on here. And with all the extra power, you'd be thankful to have this because the corners come up mighty quick. On the handling side of things, Coney shock absorbers, progress lowering springs, and Roadster Sport sway bars have been installed to reduce body roll. Enough talking about the car, let's hop in it and go for a drive. I like going topless just as much as anybody else, but unfortunately with the wind, it's not gonna be possible today, so we'll have to do with the top on. Let's go for a drive. One of the MX-5's strongest traits, handling. This RF takes an already amazing platform and transforms it into a back road weapon. Gone is the copious body roll, and instead, a well-controlled chassis that inspires driver's confidence that you'd only find in something with a much higher price tag. I'm looking at you, Porsche. Some might call this a little soft, but here, today, in the real world, on this back road, perfection. Absolute perfection. You don't need a stiff track day weapon to go out for a nice Sunday drive and have a lot of fun. I think that's a mistake a lot of people make when modifying these cars. In Goodwin Racing, they've done a good job. If you already weren't having enough fun carving through the corners, this car has all the extra power you wish that factory MX-5 came with. The Edelbrock Supercharger has a seamless integration with this car smooth linear power all the way down from 2000 rpm all the way up to the 6500 rpm red line this is how forced induction should be done if you're going to bolt on a supercharger you don't need some herky-jerky poorly tuned vehicle when you're really just trying to have fun this my friends is the gold standard for an aftermarket forced induction supercharger you can't ask for more with about 200 horsepower at the wheels i wouldn't want any more on this back road in fact any more might spoil this car. One thing I'm thankful for on this back road, these wider wheels and tires and Willwood big brakes. Corners come up much faster than stock power levels, so on a really good mountain road, I could see brake fade being a real possibility on the factory brakes. The Willwood BP20s do an admirable job of stopping the car without ruining the day-to-day -day characteristics. They don't dust a lot, they really don't make any noise, so it's a really good performance street pad, and for the intended application of this car, it's spot on. Wheels and tires are an essential part of any tuned car, and they can often make or break the build. In this case, the 60 Wells look great, reduce unsprung weight, improve ride quality, and well, I say look great because they look amazing on this car in the tungsten finish. The tires are Toyo R1Rs, and if I had to nitpick anything, it would be the tires. They're a little noisy on the road, but they do provide an ample amount of grip. With all the additional power, the extra grip is really nice. 
Now being a GT model, you might think it's missing something without a limited slip differential. And if this was a magazine, they'd tell you it's the end of the world. I'll be honest with you, again, in the real world today, it doesn't even matter. Not once on this back road have I gone, man, I really need a limited slip. If you're going that fast, you shouldn't be driving on a public road. Sorry. The big question, has Goodwin Racing done it? Have they made the perfect daily driver? Yes. Yes, they have. You could not ask for more Roadster on a day like today. It's got a roof over your head when you want it. You can go topless if you're so inclined. This is driving Nirvana. What else can I say? It's time to go topless. Enjoy some more driving on this road before I have to give the car back. Till the next time, I'm Sean with a Driver's Perspective.